hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be playing with a little bit of color i'm going to go ahead and use my morphe fear to create palette it's going to be fun it's going to be green it's going to be gold it's going to be amazing i apologize in advance because i feel like my eyebrows look a little bit wonky like they're not really like the same but they're never the same and our eyebrows are never the same and i also want to apologize if i look white like a ghost because this is what i hate about my ring light all the time i look white and i don't know how to fix it so i'm sorry anyways let's just get on with the video so starting off with the palette i'm gonna go ahead and take these big two shades and mix them up a little bit for my transition that's what i'm gonna be using in my crease first and then later on i'm gonna be introducing some of the green tones and it's gonna be so awesome because literally guys i wanted to do like a green something with like green eyeshadow for the longest and i haven't done it yet i kind of played around with like a green shimmer but it wasn't like a full-on like green look so i'm really excited for today to see how this goes and have green on my eyeballs because i've always seen like those looks here on youtube where the girls have like green eyeshadow and then with, like a gold on the lid or like it's just like really pretty and i just feel like with my complexion and stuff like that i could really pull that off so i'm excited to see what green works on my face so now that we have our transition shades in Volcori, we're about to introduce that green and I didn't prime with anything, didn't powder anything. Literally, I just applied shadow straight to my oily eyelids just because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything after this. So, yeah, but if you are going somewhere and if you do want this look to last, prime, put powder on your eyelids, concealer, whatever works for you as an eyeshadow primer, go ahead and do it. Now, I'm just going to go into this green color family right here. And I'm going to start with this lighter green shade and then work. We'll just do the brush and that. I think we're good. Anyways, so I'm gonna start with this lighter green and then work my way down to this darker green. But first, I'm gonna take that lighter one, okay? And I'm just gonna pack this on my blending brush, the same one we were using from the beginning. This is just fluffy monkey blending brush, and I'm just gonna start introducing that into the crease as well, blending that along with our previous transition shades. And just trying to make something up along the way because I know that I want to do like a green cut crease but I don't really know how it's gonna go so I'm just kind of like making my way downtown with it you know making my way downtown I don't know how the rest of it goes this looks a little bit undefined since that green is pretty light so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a brown now I'm gonna take kind of like a lightish brown. I'm gonna take this one right here. It's kind of like a reddish toned brown, really warm orangey brown. And I'm just gonna take that to kind of deepen the crease and try to get a little bit more definition. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just top that off with that first green that we used. And now I'm going to go ahead and take that dark green that I showed you guys before and just start patting this on the outer V of the eye and blending it into the crease as well. Okay, this is looking like a swampy mess on my face, but don't worry, don't judge it yet, we're going to fix it. I think I'm going to take a bigger blending brush now, just one that has no prep, and just kind of like try to go over this whole thing and blend things out. To cut the crease, at first I'm going to go in with a little bit of liquid concealer. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. And then I'm going to go in with a pot concealer. And I'm going to try this Shiseido little pot concealer out. I don't really know what it's called. It's a soft matte concealer in Chantilly. I saw Adeline Warren actually doing her cut crease with a pot concealer. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is such a great idea. Because always with like liquids... It's always a mess. It always ends up being a mess for me and a sticky and maybe sometimes I put too much and it's patchy and all this stuff. And I always have those struggles. So I thought to myself, hey, I can put some liquid concealer on first, look up, boom, that marks the line. And then fill the rest out with a little bit of hub concealer. So let's see how that goes. 
Okay, no cut crease should go this far into the eye and this is kind of a weird shape for me right now. So I'm just kind of trying to shape it to make it a little bit more round because it's looking a little bit wonky right now. I don't know if that hack did anything for me. I think it did, but it just, the concealer went way too far out, but that's fine because I'm going to add shadow anyways to blend in the, con the like the cut crease with the green and stuff like that. So let's see how we can save this because she's looking a little rough right now. She, she can use some help. Blending brush to the rescue. Gonna take a bit of that lighter green at first. Tap it, tap it, tap it on the edge of where the concealer ends and meets the shadow. And then just blend in between there. And then I'm also gonna add the darker green. So that's what we have at the end there. Now I'm just gonna take that reddish brown again that we had. Start from the back of the crease and blend it to the concealer as well. Now that I have this, I'm gonna take that big old blending brush again and just try to blend the edges. I'm gonna take a nice coppery gold. I just kind of saw this color and I was just like, yes, I really want to use that like in a cut crease. It's this color right here. I already kind of like wet my brush, so I'm just gonna pack that on there and let's just see where this takes us. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is so pretty. I'm just patting it on where we cut the crease. Putting it on that area. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty like coppery kind of like not even like rose gold it's like straight up a copper color and it's so nice oh my gosh do you guys see this i'm just so in love okay now i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my other eye and come back with an update on how things are going okay you guys so i'm literally in the middle of doing my other eye and i did the cut crease this time with all just being pot concealer or pot and the cock crease okay you guys so i am doing the cock crease on this eye now just did it and i did it with only the pot concealer and girl that was so much easier and so much so much more smoother and like i literally did this in like under a minute and this it took me a while so i would definitely recommend if you're having trouble with um, doing cut creases to just use a pop concealer. Like I just packed it on on my brush, put it right here, looked up and yeah, it wasn't like a super defined line, but hey, I could still like kind of like shape around it. And I just find that that was so much more easier. And even the shape, like it's so much like more precise and more like round, like, and here it's just kind of wonky. And I'm just like, ah. Like, I don't really do cut creases, that's why I wanted to do one. I want to like practice more and get better at them. So definitely for beginners or if you just don't want to spend 30 minutes trying to carve out your crease, just use a pop concealer. Like, it's so much freaking easier and you have so much more control of the concealer because when it's like liquid, you know, it's wet and it's runny and, you know, it can like be patchy and stuff. But with a pop concealer, I just find like it's so much more better and... Literally, that was like 30 seconds, like, yeah. So this is the completed eye look. I went ahead and did my face, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that. So first, let's finish up with the eyes. Basically, what I did was lower lash line, mascara, a little bit of brown, liner on the waterline, and oh, I put on some Ardell Wispies, and that was pretty much it. Oh. And winged liner, yeah, I did my winged liner with my L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Nor Pencil thingy. And then I filled it in with a little bit of the Maybelline Line Stiletto. These two are my freaking favorite ones. So, there you go. For glow, I did Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I used the shade Summer. This one right here is so pretty and I really want to use it. And girl, 
we is being today <laughs> but yeah also i want to show you guys this lip combo which is my freaking favorite i don't know if you guys know but maybelline has come out with a line of lip glosses these are called the vivid hot lacquer lip glosses from maybelline and guys let me tell you these are so good like literally i have this red one that i used in my christmas party get ready with me video and girl I ate at that party. I thought that I was gonna have red all over. I literally put this lipstick all over my lips that night. I ate, I drank. Yeah, there was a little bit of transfer, but literally you could see no patches on my lips. Like it looked like I had just applied it and there was nothing on my chin or around my mouth of lip gloss of red ever. And you guys know that red is super duper messy. So I really thought that Red was gonna be all over but it really wasn't like these lip glosses stay in place they're super duper extra mega pigmented like a kylie level and they're not even like i feel like they're like even more lightweight than the kylie ones so i would totally totally recommend these over the kylie ones because i feel like the kylie ones are really heavy and i feel like they dry out my lips even more you know what i mean but i really like these ones and hey they're cheap so you get a bang for your buck <laughs> anyway so I used my Kylie Ginger lip liner to outline and then I went ahead with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss in the shade Unreal number 64. This is just a great awesome nudie orangey lip gloss and I really wanted to use it because it's like so freaking pretty. So I just put that in the center and smeared it like kind of like all over a little bit but not too much because then I would look a little bit like my lips would look a little bit you know white that's why i need this darker lip liner but yeah those are all the details i freaking love how this crease turned out this look on green i thought it wasn't gonna turn out as i wanted it to but i actually kind of surprised myself like i really freaking like this look so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video but hold on before i leave if you want to watch my last video click right here if you want to watch something else click right here and if you want to subscribe click my face or click that like button down below somewhere and i would greatly greatly appreciate that thank you so so much for watching and now i'm really going to go whoosh